hospital. Oh, this one's good. It's a little tough. So welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna reconstitute some of these old Kurataki Gansai Tambi paints that I have. Look at this, they're all dried out. And I want these to be fun again. <laughs> we need to bring the fun back to these paints because they're still usable. They're just like really super, super crunchy dried out. I received this set probably like six years ago. So I think this was the 36 pans. I'm just gonna do a little experiment because why not, you know? I'm just gonna lay them out and I'm gonna put some water in them. And then every half an hour or so, I'll check them and see how they're doing and if I need to mix them or anything. And I'm especially gonna pay attention to the ones that are all cracked because these are actually okay, but um, these ones that are actually still in the pan, but I have a few that are just like not even still in the pan, so. these two. Okay, let's check these in about 45 minutes. So we'll be back in 45. Grab a little stick, a palette knife. Let's try some of these things to mix with as well. We'll start and break up with the awl, and then I will move on to another tool when I need to mix further. So yesterday when I put water in these paints, after about an hour or even two hours, they weren't even soft. So the paint is very, very dense and it's a bit hard. It's very brittle when it gets dry and it's very, very dense and hard to get very saturated. So it took a long time for these to get to this consistency. So I'm just gonna leave that one like that. And in between, I'm just cleaning off my all here so I don't get my pigments all mixed up. Which one should we do? Let's do this one. So you can see that the heavier ingredients in the paint do sink to the bottom and the lighter ones rise to the top. So it's nice to mix these up and reinvigorate my paint. I really filled these up with water quite a bit yesterday, and I'm glad I did because these paints really need that amount of water to rehydrate. They are very, very dense. All right, I really want to do this one. This one. Ooh, pretty sticky. This is my actually my favorite color of the entire palette. When I purchased the second palette of this paint, I did so because I was out of this color, almost, and I was also out of the white. The white is awesome. It's a really great opaque white. Uh, 
that looks pretty good. Oh, I should mention, you can buy these pans separately. So I will put a link in the description. I've looked around online and I've discovered that you can actually buy these pans separate. With this one, I'm gonna just try and poke out the other color that I wanna get out. As you can see, this started out as pearl white and now it's pearly pink. So I just wanna remove this little bits of paint that do not belong in the white. This one I think is gonna be harder to stir too because it's quite, looks quite chunky. I don't think I'm going to get any more of the pigment out of here, so maybe I should add more water to this one and save. Let's wait on this guy. I'm going to put this guy up in the corner here, and we'll wait. I'm going to put more water in there. Let's give this one some water and some time. There we go that going but I'm glad I think that that one's saved will be saved let us continue I think this is purple let me do a nice clean of my all here these are really great to just have around if you want to pick out a tube of paint actually these are really good all right, so this one's pretty. Pretty sticky. So there's some bits that are very much stuck to the bottom of the pan, and I'm not going to worry about those. I'm going to worry about the majority that is actually able to be mixed. See that? See that bit? Oh, I'm taking it out. Hoping this will settle. I think it will, given some time. I'm gonna leave this one, I'm gonna clean this up. This one's messy. Let's try and clean up my pan a little bit. See, it's already settled quite a bit. That didn't take long at all. 
Let me clean off my all. Now, let's go into this paint. Let's see if we can lift it. Lift it up. really excited to reuse this palette. I'm really excited to use these paints again. This is really getting me super excited to uh, go back in. Oh, I see a little flake of teal paint here. I'm going to knock this out so it doesn't dirty up the rest of the paint. I'm going to just let this settle. Let's go into the green. See if this is even possible. Oh, this one's good. Nice. Okay. A little tough. A little tough.
think I'm going to go get a glove. Because I have a lot more paint to go. <laughs> my finger keeps getting paint on it. And I keep getting paint on my finger, so. All right, this one's looking real good. Looking real good on this one. Sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna put this down to settle. And I think there's enough paint on here that I wanna try and scrape it off into my pot. Eh, not really. Try get that off there like that. I love these little pans and you can buy these too. You can just buy them from Amazon. They have them. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see where you can get the pans. Mix your own paints. You can do all kinds of things with those little pans. I recently bought some jars to re to save some dried out gouache and they're really nice jars. And while I was searching for them, I saw that you can also buy pans, empty pans, which is super cool. Okay, I'm back. I got a glove. <laughs> I got a glove ready, ready for the next one. I think one hand gloved and one hand ungloved is going to work out. Trying to dig up the dried paint underneath. I'm having a hard time and I don't want to impale myself or spill paint everywhere. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it and I'm going to clean this pan up and call this one good.
That one looks really good. All right. This one.
set this one back. want to add a little bit more water to this guy because it's still a little chunky and I'm going to see if I can work back into that one a little bit later. Who's next? Let's see. Oh, I still have some red paint on here. That's not good. All right, this guy needs a little bit more water too. Let's do another red. Let's get that little chunk out of there.
this one's the perfect consistency. Clean up my pan. Oh my God. So I turned my camera off and I accidentally didn't turn it back on. So unfortunately I lost all the footage of doing this one, but oh my God, this one's so good. It's like dried, but also wet. I'm going to add some more water to this one because 
This one's not ready yet. Maybe we'll do, that one's still hard too. I'm gonna put some more water in that one too. And we'll just make a little group of ones that need to be done over here. I'm gonna just see if I can do all the yellows now. We'll see. Okay, that one maybe be a good one. Let's see about this one. Oh, that's a good one. Let's do this guy. All right. This one's good. This one did not take much at all. Very good consistency for mixing. All right, I'm gonna clean off this pan and clean off my glove. This one down. Can I pick out the pieces that are dirtying up my paint? Let's see. Oh yes, I think I can. Yep, I'm gonna put this down because look at that big chunk of red I got out. So I'm gonna make sure my all is nice and clean and go back in.
Okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get, so I'm just going in. I'm okay that it's a little bit, there's gonna be a little bit of red in here, that's okay. It's just gonna change the color of the paint, but since I'm mixing it, it should be pretty uniform. Uniformly the same color when I'm done. There was a string, but it was just some paint. Okay. Great. One freshened up pan. Which one should we do next? Okay, let's just go in and mix. So they're very unevenly 
hydrated. There's a lot of crust on the bottom, so I'm just digging up the crust if I can, if it's diggable. And then there's parts like, see this center is more goopy and like more thin than the edges are. My goal is just to get them all, try and get them as uniform as possible and mix up any little bits that might, that I can't get out that are a different color. That, this piece I could probably have gotten out, but I didn't really want to bother. That I think was like a surface drop of a different color. Whoop. And it really wasn't going to change the color very much at all. So if it was like a big chunk of pigment or something, or even a little chunk of pigment from another pan, that's one thing, but that was just like a drop. And um, really not a big deal. And on, honestly, like, I don't care as long as, as long as the color is uniform and usable and it's going to be consistent, it's okay with me. Because my goal is, like, to rescue these. <laughs> so I can use them enjoyably and not have to deal with like little bitty crusty pieces. I would really like to use up these paints completely before that happens again. That would be awesome. So this looks like pretty good. The bottom is pretty, there's a little tiny bit of crust on the bottom, but that I can't really get up without too much force and I don't want to impale myself so and it's um it's leveling itself out pretty well so I'm gonna call this one done I'm just gonna get my paint off the all right there Do I have to clean up the edges? I probably don't really have to be as careful, but it's just satisfying <laughs> to have a white edge, so, or an almost white edge. Makes it feel a little more like I have new or rescued and a little less like a big mess, so. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to put that right there. Let me wash my awl first. Get that paint off it. I am going into another red, so I don't have to be quite as worried. This thing cl gets clean pretty well, though. Gets uh, very nicely cleaned. All right, let's see, is this one gonna be ready? Ooh. All right, so my goal here is gonna be to try and get this all consistent. I don't want to come off. Uh oh. That is literally the binder. I think I'm gonna try and. And break this up a little bit and then maybe let it soak some more because there's a lot of water already in here and I don't want to add more and then have like super watery paint but 
do want to break this chunk down a little bit if I can. All right, I think I did a pretty good job and I don't think that is that lump of paint is gonna really break down anymore without me having an accident here, so. Just trying to get this little glop off. Off my, oh, there we go, okay. This one looks pretty good. I mean, it's like 90% there. I'm just gonna clean off my all. I think I'm gonna try going into the rest of the reds now because I just think it's more efficient. More efficient. That looks good. Let's go for this one here. Oh, we got a big glop of some sort of other color here. See if I can. You know, it's really not that bad. But I'm just going to try to pull this out. Oh, it's coming out. Yep. That is coming out as a chunk. So I'm going to remove it. Remove this chunk. Now we can just go for it and mix. Hopefully not make too much of a mess. Oh, whoops. Trying to get that dried up edges and mix it in with the thinner paint so we can get some uniformity. See that? See how the dried on the bottom there? It's all dried up. If I can lift that up.
This is done. That's good. I have one more bright red color. It's that orange in the corner right there. I'm gonna do that one next. Let's see if we can, oh, whoa, there we go. These look awesome. I gotta dig into those soon. All right, hopefully this is gonna be good. So we have a little piece. Let's see if we can dig this out. Oh, that was just a bubble. That was just a little bubble. Okay, so it's more, it's more wet in the center as it would be because that's where the water, that's where there was less paint in the pan. And I'm just gonna try and be real careful with how I mix this. So I don't wanna lose paint. while keeping you in the viewfinder, while keeping this in frame. Not making too much of a mess. There's gonna be some mess. There's just gonna be some mess. Okay, this is dry, drier over here. Still mixable. I'm gonna actually turn my pan.
call this one done. All right, we're getting somewhere here. All these are done. Now I just got these to go and the three, oh, the three other ones that are still hanging out. I'm gonna put them in the corner. Oh, look, do you see that from the other day, from yesterday? This is the pearl white pan that had the purple paint stuck in there that I picked out and then I just put water on it. I'm gonna dump that out because it looks like all of the purpley pigment just came to the top. So I'm gonna go dump that. All right, nice. That looks a lot better. I mean, it's still not perfect, but that's totally fine. Look at that. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna leave this in here for now and I'm gonna put a little bit more water in it. I Actually, let me... That's watery enough, even if I leave it. All right, I put some additional water in a few pans and I just want them to like hang out over here for a while. So put all the greens in a row need to be done and so we can oh, so we can do those all together and this is a gold and I think this one is a blue so we can just leave that here and then this is the one that we were just playing with so I'm gonna put this there because these are all done and then these three no, there's four. There's four pans that I put additional water in today that are were just too hard to do. So I'm gonna I'll check them and we'll see how they are doing before once I'm done with the rest of these. Build that water out of that. I gotta clean that up. Clean that up. Some of the ingredients are heavier, and those will those will sink. And then certain ingredients are lighter, and those will rise. And that's been helpful with this whole process in terms of the different pigments. So, ooh, looks like this guy's even starting to dry already. Look. Look, my all is nice and clean. I'm gonna start with the lightest color, which 
which is that pearl white. So I'm going to mix that one up. Chunky. It's kind of pearl pink now, but it's still mostly white. It is ready. Wow. Okay, this is a darker blue with with a big light skin on it. It's going to be a lighter blue now. Let's see if we can get the edges first. Shall we? Break the edges. It would be nice if I could keep this one sort of clean.
Okay, we're on the home stretch. I just added a drop of water to this one. These take a long time to rehydrate when you put water on them. I think they were already starting to dry out from the water that I put on them last night. So hopefully this will be enough moisture to, although I can always put in another drop of water if needed. And it might just need that. Oh, whoops, there we go. Get back in there. Okay, um, Let's go into the greens now. We are definitely on the home stretch. Let's go into this one.
I might be running out of patience with this one. Or I'm just getting really tired from doing a million of these today. But there's still a lot of sticky bits in there. Ooh, there we go. Got a good clump out there. Oh, now I gotta contend with this. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Try not to make more of a mess. This one was really hard. There was a lot of like sticky gummy stuff in here and I really just want to get this so it's more uniform so I'm just gonna sorry about my hand before I'm trying to keep my hand out of frame so this corner is sticky Chiseling here. That chunk in the upper right corner, I'm not going to touch that because that is like so dried on, and I think it's just going to cause a bigger, a bigger mess. There's a bunch of dried under here, so I'm just going to try and score this area a little bit. I think those extra drops of water really helped get in there with this. There's a few chunks in there. But I think we're in good shape with this one. I'm just going to stir it a little bit more and then I think I'm going to go on to the next. One more time with a wipe. Making a mess. All right. That looks pretty good. Put this one back in the group. Gonna have to see how it pans out. I 
I'm going to just see if we're anywhere with this one. Anywhere close. No, I don't think so. I think we're going to have to do that guy in a different session because I don't think it's going to get done tonight. Maybe tomorrow. All right. Here's our last green. Here's our last green. And then we have, oh my gosh, all the rest of them are the ones that I just re-wetted. So I'm going to have to test them out and see. Might have to come back tomorrow. Oh, this is a really good consistency for mixing. This is really good. I, this is going to be easier, I think. Not feeling any crispy parts yet. Just have the skin here. Oh my gosh, this one was so easy. I think this is it. I think I'm done with this one. Wow. That has to be the easiest one that we've done so far. I'm even wondering if I even need to clean up the edge on this. But might as well. It doesn't look dirty. So all the ones lying this way are freshly rewatered. So I'm gonna have to dig into them and see if they are ready. I think I put more water in them about an hour ago. So we're just gonna have to see. I don't know, might have to come back to finish those off. Oh, you know what? We didn't do this one. We didn't do the gold. All right, going in. I don't think we did anyway, did we? I'm gonna have to look back on the footage because this is feeling pretty smooth in here, like we've done it, but I don't remember doing this one. But I guess I'm doing it twice because now that I'm in here, it does feel like I did remix this paint definitely feels smooth and it's really not bad there's this little glump here but it's pretty good and it was on the side of the palette that was done so i have to assume i did it and forgot but i don't remember doing this one anyway I remember doing that one, but I don't remember doing this one. Anyway, it's really pretty. Look at it. All right, let's clean this up. We are almost done. Oh my God. I never thought this would be so much fun. I honestly never knew that I would do this. All I knew was that these paints just get so crispy, crunchy, dried out and break. And I just don't, I don't want to use them like that. So, all right, this one needs more water. This, oh, got some gold in there. Whoops. Um, I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm going to put more water in here because this definitely needs water. I mean, this guy is dry. I think I didn't put water from yesterday. Today, I mean, I don't I don't think I put water in it today. 
but maybe I didn't put enough in yesterday. I'm really putting lots of water in there because I think this paint just really needs it. <laughs> it's so dense. It is so dense. Okay, I think I can do this one. I'm going to try. This is blue. Beautiful. Beautiful blue. With lots of water in it. And something else. What is that? Is that a little fly? Oh my god, there's a little fly. I gotta get that little fly out of there. Alright. I guess the little fly got hungry. Come here, little fly. There we go. Alright. Gone. That dude is out of there. The only real issue I see is that there might be too much liquid in this pan for me to be super efficient with this, but maybe just right on the cusp. I'm just steadying it with my pinky over there on the left, and I'm just going to stir like this. Yeah, there might be some digging and I don't want to make a mess especially over these other paints when I put my protective foam core down here before I get into this I'm actually going to flip this over too yeah I think this one might be too dry under there. Or I'm just like super tired of digging. I don't know. Or both. But the um, the bottom layer is super, super dense. So I think I might just have to hold off on this one or call it and just let it be. Maybe I'll check back on this one a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm not going to clean off the edge because who cares? I'm going to go back into it. And uh, I'm just going to clean off my all here. Okay. Did I do this? Okay. That's the one I just put water in. A lot of water. Get down. Okay. That's the one I just did. This is the black. I put more water in right before I went to dinner. I'm going to put even, oops, I'm going to put even more water in this because this is like, I think it really needs it. I think that needs it. I'm thinking I'm going to let that, let that one sit. So let's check that yellow one again and see how we're doing there. Check yellow number one. Oh god, that's not going anywhere right now. Let's check this yellow number two. That's also not going anywhere. And this one is still really stiff. So I'm going to put even more water in these. Let them sit. And I'm going to revisit them tomorrow morning. Just gonna really put a ton of water in here. But we're in good shape. I mean, look. Look at, got almost all of these done. Jeez, that was a lot of work. Now here they are drying. So you can see, just by looking at these now, looking at some of the reds, do you see how, do you see how it's drying right 
there. I'm just going to use this to point. Do you see how it's drawing with like lines in it? There's something in the formula with these that is very drying and that's okay. It's fine. It's just the paint. But when it gets really dry, it just shatters and it's very brittle. So these look nice and creamy and set, the ones that we've finished. And I look forward to using those in some artwork soon. As for one, two, three, four, five, six, these six other pans, I'm gonna check tomorrow morning. And if I can finish mixing those then, then that's what we're gonna do. But for now, I'm gonna cover them because I don't want anything to happen to them. I don't want anything to fly into them. So I'm just gonna do and set this someplace safe. We're back, today's the next day and we're gonna get started on this again. We're gonna finish these six pans. So I'm just going right in. I'm not even waiting because I was really curious to see if these were going to be ready to be mixed. And this one is, I haven't even tested the other ones yet. I haven't even put, I haven't even gone to see if uh, they're at all squishy. I gotta put, I gotta get this off of here, number one. Number one, okay. And now I need to protect my paints. So I'm gonna put down my protective foam core right there. And we will uh, continue. This looks perfectly ready to go. Oh, we're almost done. We are almost done with this one. Just trying to break up that little clump. And get the corners. I'm just gonna mix to get everything well combined. I like this palette knife because it has that little tip. I like that it has the wide flat part and then that little tip that you can just sort of go in and stir with. It's nice. So if this is the first time you're seeing a paint rescue video from me, I did one a couple years ago and I will put it up in the cards in that little eye up here. So you can check that one out if you want for more crusty paint mixing and scraping. This one's good. This one looks good. That was like so much easier after having added that extra water. So I'm just gonna, oh, ugh, I got water on a couple of my paint pans. Oh well, um, just gonna clean this up. And then going on to the next one. I'm really excited to get this done. <laughs> I'm really excited to wrap this up because I really want to use these paints. And I got a lot of other things to do. Got other videos I'm going to make. Oh, 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 did I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. All right, awesome. Perfect. Finished pan. Look at that. Remixed and ready to roll. 
All right, let's try, let's do the dark ones and then we'll go on to the yellow ones because I wanna be efficient. And that is the most efficient, I believe. So let's just clean off this guy. I think I'm just gonna stick with this little palette knife for today. See how far I get with this. And if I need to grab my all, then I'll do that. All right, this looks like it's clean. Looks good. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very, very thinned out which is perfectly fine. I'm, I'm fine if there's too much water because that'll just dry. And really, I'm really focused on wanting to finish this whole set before it does what it did <laughs> before, before it starts getting brittle and breaking into little glass-like shards. All right, this one's good. We're all good on this. That looks nice. Nice and well mixed. Nice. All right, put this one down. It barely even needs to be cleaned. Wow. Let's do it. We're going to clean it anyway. I'm using, I'm reusing for this old paper towels because... There's really no sense in using the fresh one. I really don't need to. It's not like I'm working on a painting. Um, I'm making sure that my implements are clean and that's the important part and that I don't contaminate my tape, my paint, contaminate my paint with different colors, which, you know, I mean, that's important, but I'm not like super, super, super overly worried if there's like a tiny drop of color mixed in. I'm not that worried about that because this is really just, like I said before, um, you know, I my, my main MO is that the paint is um, consistent, consistently combined. And um, if it turns out to be a different, slightly different color than it used to be, it's all right with me. I mean, if I can avoid it, then great. But, you know, if there's like too much paint, too much of another color in the palette and I can't remove it easily, then that's all right. I'll live with it. Well, that's fine. I'll just use it. But if I can... Like with some of the other pans had, you know, a big chunk of pigment on them or a big drop of pigment on them from another pan or little shards, um, you know, I'll take those out if I can, for sure. I was using my dropper to do that on the first day and that was working pretty well with um, one of the pans. But really what I've found is really efficient with these is just putting a ton of water in the pan, letting it sit, and then check the next day. And then once you check, those little shards of pigment are probably going to be liquefied by that point, And they're probably going to be separated from the pigment of the actual pan. And the like that will probably sink to the bottom. And then the pigment that was dropped in accidentally is probably going to be on the top and separated and then you can go in with your dropper and you can just sort of suck it up vacuum it up or you can pick it out you know with a palette knife like this or with your awl or with some other implement that seems to be the way to work these because um oops Oopsies. I almost had an accident there. Um, they don't, 
they sort of don't stay completely consistent. You know, stuff is going to be, it's going to separate a little bit. So use that to your advantage. <laughs> and if you drop something in here and it dries like that or whatnot, um, wet it. Just wet the crap out of it, wait a day, and then see if you can pull it out using one of those methods and you should be good all right this one looks really good nice and creamy nice and glossy very consistent and um we're good on this so look at that's even pretty easy usually the the um binders get stuck on that tip and they make a really like little gummy bit on the edge gonna put this guy back this is the black and I barely use the black because really I like to use a lot of dark colors and make my own black usually often I should say not not usually off not not all the time because you know there's different reasons why I would use black in different situations but all right, let's do this. Ooh, that's nice. I think I did this one yesterday. Well, I'm doing it again. I think this is the one that we had a little fly stuck in. That poor little fly met its fate in this pan. And now we're just gonna redistribute it a little bit. Whoops, stop it, okay. That's gorgeous, look at that. That is a beautiful color. All right, great. Nice. Excellent, all right. I'm gonna clean the edge. You know what? I didn't even clean the edge of the black yet either. So I'm gonna do that too. Clean the edge of the black too. While we're here. Why am I wearing one? Oh, got a lot of paint on there. Why am I wearing one glove? I'm wearing a glove on this hand because I'm holding, I'm holding the pan with it and I'm getting paint all over myself with it, with the pan. And I have band-aids on this hand, so I want to make sure to keep my little band-aids and abrasions safe. I'm just gonna clean the edge as much as I can. Not gonna go too crazy. Oop, had a dip. This is not the most efficient. There we go, that works. All right, clean this back. Okay guys, we got two left. We did this one already. So I'm gonna push this, I'm gonna move this over here. Now why is this box bigger? because this box is for 36 and they had separators in it and I removed that. So that's what the extra space in this box is. They're not, they didn't come all together, like no space in between. Let's go into the yellow. I'll do the lighter yellow first. Oh gosh, I hope this is ready. All right, so this has a little something in here already. I don't know what this is. Get that out. Look, fix my lighting, get some better lighting here. See if I can do that. All right, so here's my pan. And there's a little floaty in there. What is that? Wipe it off. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. All right, I was fooled. There's not much in here at all. And I thought there was more paint in here. Oh, there's another something in there. Is that a hair? Brush, a hair from a brush, probably. All right, so there's not a lot of paint in here and it's all really watery, so this is done. That just needs to evaporate. Last one. All right, last one. Is it gonna be a good one? There we go. All right, it's ready to go. 
It's nice and gummy over here. Just gonna stir and press down with my palette knife a little bit just to help distribute, mix. Try and go slow because I know that when I do a fast, I watched some of this footage back yesterday and I noticed that there are times when I, whoops, there's times when I'm stirring really fast and uh, it's probably giving you guys googly eyes. So I'm going to try and avoid doing that. Oops. I'm watching through the viewfinder here <laughs> in my phone and it's like not ideal, but just trying to do the right thing here. Oh, this color is so good. I love this shade of yellow. It's so excellent. It's like really sunshine yellow. There's a lot of gluey up there. There's a lot of... gluey paint over here. And So this is definitely going to take some stirring because um, it's just not it's just not well distributed yet. Right, that's awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my God, that looks so nice and delicious, doesn't it? Don't you just wanna eat that? No, don't eat that. Um, yeah, it looks very juicy and creamy. I love paint. I love paint. I'm just gonna clean my palette off good here. Palette knife. And let's clean off our pan. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is cool. I feel like I have a whole new set of paints here. I really love these paints. I'm gonna be really interested to see how these actually, <laughs> how they fare. Like how, how are they gonna do now? Like, is it gonna be a while before they get all dried out in like glass shards? Or is it going to take time? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, Christ. Whoops. Just stuck my finger in the black paint. Um, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do. Um, the ones I did yesterday, you can see there's a skin forming. Um, this one looks like it might have gotten a couple little... There's something sticking on the surface there. I don't know what that is. I'm actually going to wait until these completely dry. And then I'm going to go over them. Oh, that one looks dry. Okay, so if I just, yeah, I just touch the surface of this and. Oh, come here. Let me get that little piece off. Whatever that is, a yellow, tiny little yellow shard of. Paint. Yep, got it off. 
So these are all good. So I'm gonna let these dry. And there you have it. I will use these paints very soon in an upcoming video so we can see how they did. We can see how they work after this whole surgical procedure and see how they dried and all that. So thank you for joining me for this. I hope that it was oddly satisfying <laughs> watching me paint to uh, mix all these paints. And um, yeah, please like this video if you liked it. You know what to do. I will put the other paint rescue videos up in the description box. And I mean, up in the eye right up there. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this and for more content like this, art related content. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.